Yo, okay, so we are getting ready. I have an event to go to today, and if you already know, I don't go to many events. My stuff is so dry. Yo, the issue with the silk press is you can't let your hair be weighed down and oily, which means the scalp, my scalp be mad dry. Okay, my scalp is feeling dry right now. I silk pressed my hair yesterday. Look at my white hairs in the front. Okay, my hair feels so good straight. I, I'm gonna do this more often. I don't do it nearly as much as I should, and it just feels so pretty. So I'm getting ready now. I am actually running late. I had to edit something that I needed to post today and it took me a lot longer than I expected for it to. I just used my fingers yesterday and grabbed the hair from my bangs, but today I'm using a comb. But this is a hairstyle that I did back in January and I love this hairstyle. It's on my page. I did a get ready with me because I was going to a friend's birthday party and I haven't done it in a while because well, it's just been too hot. I mean, who has time to be doing silk presses in the heat? You know how Houston is. And today's a cooler day. It's about to be in the 60s. It's a little cooler. So I was like, you know what? Since the weather is cooler, my hair should last. It shouldn't be giving me problems, but I won't lie. I haven't worked out since I pressed it. And this is the issue with the silk press. It just, it's so restrictive. Ugh. I just didn't want to look crazy, you feel me? So yesterday I filmed a bunch of content. And today, here we are. I'm not worried too much about the back. It's really, even yesterday, I had it very, just just throwing together today I'm redoing it because I went to bed and I took the ponytail down I'm putting this ponytail up higher because I recognize that it just looks better the higher up that it is look how long my hair is I'm just so shocked because I got a lot of hair cut off a lot of hair cut off when I got my hair cut recently and it's still so long so I love that okay so there's that and then what I did was I used you can still see some of the old product all right. Again, I'm not trying to make it look like I just got out of the salon and everything is just, you feel me? I just needed it to just be back, just there. I'm gonna curl this once I finish my hair. I have these satin rod thingamajiggies that I used the other day after I had slip pressed this and it works nicely, but my hair just fell. It just fell. So, you know, it was what it was. So last night I did not put those things back in. I simply clipped my hair back and went to bed. But today I'm gonna curl it. I'm gonna curl the ponytail and the front. I just need my hair to stay for the event. If it don't stay for the whole day, I don't care. Make sure you follow me on all platforms. TikTok, I'm posting more on me and IG. I'm gonna get this together. I know y'all love this hairstyle. I love it too. And of course I could, or you could add some pieces to the front to make it more full. Add a ponytail if you need to. Last time I did this, I did a top knot and I'm just leaving the ponytail down because it's cute and it's just easy. So let's slick down the sides a little bit and then get this whole situation going. Let's get her going. <laughs> This makes the hold soft, but it still holds nonetheless. So I'm gonna do edge tamer and then some got to be. So here we are. And you might be wondering, oh, why not just step at the edge tamer? Because they don't be foolproof, you feel me? I just need this to look a little decent. <laughs> some of I don't care too much about the back. Cause what, what'll happen, I think, is that this edge control will rub off on the ponytail and that ain't what I want either, you feel me? All right, sides are activated. Now, just a little bit of got to be on the immediate edges. I almost had to do my makeup and I almost forgot that I needed to curl my ponytail. What in the world? Okay, let's just give it a good old spiral. And now I wonder, should I pin it? Yeah, I should, huh? I should pin it, because it's gonna be a while until I actually leave. I mean, it's gonna fall regardless, but you know, I wanna at least try to get it to stay a little bit, you feel me? Now for makeup, I have to do my, like, like as if it's a bad thing. I have to do my soft glam look because I wanted to try out some new products, but listen. One thing I don't like is trying out new products, but I got somewhere to go. You feel me? Because if I hate something about the look and I don't feel like it's my best, it's not gonna go well. That was the e.l.f. lip primer that's freaking discontinued. And this is the MAC Prep and Prime. The MAC one is the first primer that I ever used. I know it to be really, really good. This is the Makeup Forever Setting Wet Poudre. Wow, micro finishing loose powder high. Listen, that working on that project to get it out, get it posted today. Just, you know, TikTok is, is confusing. The processes are more convoluted than I expected. And anyway, so I had to work on that. This is the Sephora 99 brush with the Makeup Forever Loose Pod. I'm just doing my T-zone. It's gonna go up to maybe 60 something today, which is like, what? The foundation I'm gonna use is the Gucci, you know, my favorite. I'm gonna go with something that I know that I can trust, you feel me? And I get a little bit, <laughs> I get a little bit greasy in my T-zone. And But for me, it's, it's comfortable. It's not the end of the world. But I 
kind of want to deal with that right now. So that's why I primed that area. Sephora 70 brush to blend this down. And we want to maintain as much full coverage as we can. I think this is a medium coverage product. The way I apply it, I like it to be full. So the event is with Ellie Brown. You know what? I have never met her in person, actually. Isn't that crazy? So I knew her through a friend from church years ago. And then we follow each other on social. But I've never met her in person. Anyway, she invited me to this event. And from what I understand, it's a Portuguese. She's from Brazil. It's a Portuguese shoe designer. I'm not sure if they make anything else, but Portuguese shoe designer. And we're going to see the newest line and have lunch at Fig and Olive in the Galleria. So I am thrilled about that. I don't go to many events, you know that. So it's fun to do something, meet up with other creators do something cute give us a reason to get dressed yesterday i filmed a try on haul so i'm gonna wear one of the outfits from the haul so it's perfect <laughs> I have something to wear. I'm so annoyed. These Zara jeans that I purchased. Oh, yo, I don't buy Zara jeans. This is my first ever Zara jean. And I tried on, if you saw my vlog, I tried on some jeans there that I was like, dang it, this looks just like these Amazon, Amazon jeans that I have. Let me put these back. So I put them back. It was the same size as the one I ended up buying, which was a light blue cargo jean. I said, I ain't got no light blue cargo jeans. So let's go ahead and grab this. Well, I'm gonna wipe my chin later because the collared shirt I'm wearing, I don't want it to get dirty, but I'm I'm just used to going here, so I'm gonna do that now. Well, no, the cut is different apparently, cause it didn't fit me. It didn't fit my hips. I was like, good Lord almighty. So the one I ended up buying is a size 42, which is a size 12, and I need a 44, which is a size 14 in Zara. And I wear a size 14 some places, some places. So I was like, Jesus lamb. And then when you buy in a store, you can't return online. What the heck? I, I so prefer online things, but it's it's a good lesson for me because again, I don't buy Zara jeans. So now I know that I'm a 14 in Zara just to be safe, you feel me? So I'm like, okay, well, I'm already going to the mall. I can go and exchange my Zara pants. Well, here's the problem. <laughs> I'm not leaving home as early as I would like. And then once this event is over, I got to get back and get in the carpool line. Hello? So, ooh. oh no. Oh, that was the hourglass concealer, by the way. And you know, I got to contour with my LYS, baby. I got to go with what I know. <laughs> and what I know is going to work well and get me where I, where I need to go, okay? Here we go with all of our triangles all over the face, and we're going to blend. I blended out my concealer. Now I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Loose Powder and go right in here, just to help to calm down these creases. Of course, you got to tap off the excess. You know how important that is, okay? And now we're going to do our Luminous Setting Powder. This is a Huda one that you know I love, Medium Tan 06. And this is a Sephora 99 brush. And then to set or just add a little bit more color to the other highlighted areas, this is a Huda baked powder. This is the color cinnamon bun. I'm not trying to add too much color. It's just a little, you feel me? And then of course, when I put my face powder on, I don't want it to budge. So two reasons why. Good old e.l.f. powder, foundation for the wind. You know, this stuff is just good. Rich 660 and all products are listed below, by the way. I'm excited for this outfit. I'm gonna wear, I've never worn anything like it. And I'm in my fashion bag these days. So <laughs> I'm excited. You've already seen it obviously in the thumbnail. <laughs> I'm excited about it. All right, I am just about done and I have to, <laughs> I have to go. What's up with this eyelash? You know, I love these lashes. Again, all links are below. This is my soft lamb look, you feel me? This is my everyday look. When I ain't got time to think about what kind of look to do, you best believe this is what I'm gonna throw on the face. And I know that y'all love this look. I like it too. Man, I used to do so many colors on my face. <laughs> Boy, have the times changed. I could have done a bold lip, like all these things, but 
I just, you know, I need to be in the mood. I need to be in the mood. It has to go with my outfit too, you feel me? So when I just don't have time to be thinking too much about what I gotta do, this is the look I resort to. This is the Huda One Coat Mascara. That Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara is really good too. I forgot about that. I have that on my top lashes, as you saw. That volume was so good. The thickness of the lashes, so stinking good. And in this Huda One Coat, you know, I like to just zhuzh it around like this, you feel me? Really get all the product onto my bottom lashes. So it can really, really show. Look at this. This is one coat on both of my lashes. Isn't that so good? And I still haven't even dipped back into the wand. Now we're doing a second layer because I need my lashes to be voluminous. If you like your lashes thick like me, grab this, you need it. I like it to look dramatic and clumpy. <laughs> That's the volume I need, hello. Look at my top lashes, it has to equal out. Look it, even though I mattified my face, healthy do. You see the healthy do? I'm not gonna spray anything because I have bangs. No need for any kind of mixings. Let's curl the bangs really fast and then get dressed. <laughs> because I have bangs, no way I can do a gloss. What? My hair would be all in my mouth. So that's why I am not doing a gloss, but I love the Sephora XXL nude gloss, that plumping gloss. It don't plump me, honey. It's really good though, I like it. I didn't hold this wand like this yesterday. <laughs> this is not how I held it yesterday. Oh, okay, it, is this fine? <laughs> I did not do it like that yesterday. Yo, I'm annoyed. Is this even gonna look how I need this? Out? Okay, this is how I held it yesterday. Oh my God, I'm so annoyed. I should have done the same thing on both sides. Watch these bangs play me. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hairspray it. But that, that is not even like that helped. It still fell. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ooh, I just burnt myself talking crap. Oh no. <laughs> oh God, you see my forehead vein? Yo, oh my God, I've never seen my forehead vein before. I see it on people who cry on TV. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I've seen it on actors and actresses, but I've never seen it on myself. That's stressful. That was a stress vein. <gasps> wow. I don't remember the last time I burned my skin from curling my hair. Bless God. See? Oh wow. That's gonna be freaking tangling me for God knows how long. Oh no. I'm so sick about that. All right. This was more puffy yesterday. I didn't do it on purpose. My hair was just poofy yesterday. So let's give it a little bit of a tease. Ooh, yeah, so here it is. Here's the look. I mean, let's see. I do want this to fall. It's gonna fall. By my drive to where I'm going, it's gonna fall. Is this how I'm supposed to, am I supposed to do that? <gasps> am I supposed to curl my curtain bangs like this? <gasps> Yo, do I not know how to curl? What? Wait, what, what did I just do? Do I not know how to curl my curtain bangs? Girl, I ain't got time for this. Okay, this is fine. As long as I look cute from the front, that's all I freaking care about. If the side looks flat, I don't give a damn. It's my hair. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's get dressed. <laughs> I saw this vest in Zara and I was like, I have to have it, this is so cute. And I love these baggy pants. I'll show you in a second closer. But I just said, you know what? I love the whole idea of the contrast. Obviously I need to fix this collar. I like the collar like this. I don't want it to be VV, you know what I'm saying? Where it's just like hanging out. I want it like this. And here we have the back. These jeans, they're from Amazon, they're XL. This top is Zara. This is an oversized button down, as you can see. And I got on these Zara boots. They're so comfortable. I love how they're tan. Love, love, love how comfy and cozy these are. I have a new bag that I think I should wear with these. Okay, look, if you don't have this Vaseline all over a blur, what? All over a body bomb, you need to grab it. It's just good to make sure that you ain't looking crusty, you feel me? So let's quickly put this all over the hands and we'll rub it in. And I'm gonna do my usuals. Got my Amazon ring, my Cartier stack, which is the Juice Unclue, and then the Love Ring. And there's Bangle to add on to my Cartier bracelets, JBW watch. Love this thing, hello. I got these sunglasses recently from Amazon. They sit so low on my face, but let's do them anyway. Just like how light they are. And then my fragrance is this Valentino Uma, but what? Whatever, it'll be down, it'll be down in the description box. <laughs> Coral Fantasy, girl, this stuff is good, honey. It's masculine, but you know me. Confident, baby. Confident, baby. Spray it all over, you feel me? It's a bold look. We're going for a bold fragrance, baby. We are not afraid. We ain't never scared. <laughs> Yo, I can't wait for these bangs to fall. It's given first day of kindergarten. <laughs> And then right out the plastic, brand new, I got the other Kate Spade bag because as y'all see, I, ooh, I didn't realize that this was off white. This is delicious, wow. I thought this was white, but it's more, whoa. Wow, this is stunning. Should I just do this today? 
Should I attach this and then hold it like I normally do? Or should I just not attach it at all and just walk like this? Oh my God. I think I should just do it off the chain. Okay. This is so delicious. Look at this bag. It is off white. It's so beautiful. All right, this is a look. Thanks for watching. Bye.